The Lord our God said to us in Horeb, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey. Go to the hill country of the Amorites and to all their neighbours in Arabah, in the hill country and in the lowland and in the Negev, by the sea coast, the land of the Canaanites and Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you to them and their offspring after them. At that time I said to you, I'm not able to bear you by myself. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are today as numerous as the stars of heaven. May the Lord, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. But how can I bear you by myself, the weight and the burden and all your strife? Choose for you tribes, wise and understanding and experienced men, and I will appoint them as your heads. And you answered me, the thing that you have spoken is good for us to do. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and experienced men, and set them as heads over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens and officers throughout your tribes, and I charge your judges at the time. Hear the cases between your brothers and judge righteously between a man and his brother or the foreigner who is with him. You shall not be partial in judgment, and you shall not hear, you shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. And in the case that it's too hard for you, you bring it to me and I will hear it. And I can manage you to do that. Then we sat out for Horeb and went through the great and terrifying wilderness that you saw on the way to the hill country of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us. And we came to Kadesh, Barina, and I said to you, you have come to the hill country of the Amorites, which the Lord our God is giving us. See, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up, take possession, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has told you to do. Do not fear or be dismayed. Then all of you came near me and said, Let us send up men before us, and they can explore the land for us, and bring us word again of the way by which we can go, and the cities to which we shall come. And the thing seemed good to me, and I took twelve men from you, one from each tribe, and they turned and went up into the hill country and came to the valley of Eshkol and spied it out. And they took in their hands some of the fruit of the land and brought it down to us, and brought us word again and said, oh, it's, it's a good land that the Lord our God is giving us. Yet you would not go up, but rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. And you murmured in your tents and said, Because the Lord hated us, he's brought us out of the land of Egypt to give us over to the Amorites to destroy us. Where are we going up? Our brothers have made our hearts melt, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and fortified up to heaven. And besides, we have seen the sons of the Anakin there. Then I said to you, do not be in dread or afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes up before you, he himself will fight for you, just as he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness where you've seen how the Lord your God carried you as a man carries his son all the way you went until you came to this place. Yet in spite of this word, you do not believe the Lord your God who went up before you in the way to seek you out a place to pitch your tents in fire by night, in the cloud by day, and to show you which way you should go. And the Lord heard your words and was angered, and he swore, Not one of these men, this evil generation, shall see the good land that I have swore to give your fathers, except Caleb, the son of Jerephah, he shall see it. And to him, his children, I will give the land to which he has trodden, because he was wholly followed the Lord. Even with me, the Lord was angry on your account. You also shall not go up there. Joshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. 
And as for the little ones, when you said they will become prey in your children, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they shall go in there, and them I will give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn and journey into the wilderness in the direction of the Red Sea. Then you answered, We have sinned against the Lord. We ourselves will go up and fight, just as the Lord our God commanded us. And every one of you fastened on his weapons of war and thought it was an easy thing to go up to the hill country. And the Lord said to me, Say to them, Do not go up and fight, for I am not in your midst, lest you be defeated before your enemies. So I spoke to you, but you would not listen, and you rebelled against the command of the Lord and went presumptuously up to the hill country. And then the Amorites who lived in the hill country came out against you and chased you off like bees and beat you down in the seer as far as Homa, and you returned and wept before the Lord. But the Lord did not listen to your voice or give ear to you, so you remained at Kadesh many days and days that you remain there.